what's up and welcome back to another video you can see what i have here this is a stripe fabric plaquette so in this video i'll be taking you guys through the process of making this and having it this smooth and sharp and we're going to be doing it step by step but wait a minute in this video i actually make a mistake because if you go down a little bit you can see that the line are starting to fall apart but if i take you through the process of getting this at that stage i'm going to show you how to do it so you are not going to make the same mistake that simply means all of us are not perfect but i know that you guys are smarter than me if i show you this you're going to do it right so without further ado let's get into the tutorial and smash the like button for the youtube upgrading just smash the like button i beg <laughs> so here is the fabric that i'll be using as you can see right here here is the fabric but well, the first thing i'm going to do now is to get the wrong side of the fabric so here is the wrong side of the fabric you see that i just struck that so you are going to understand this very very well most often if you're working with a stripe fabric most of them stripe fabric doesn't like usually like have a very distinguished front and back right most often i the way i usually do it is that i can just use the front cut the front then i can use the back but in this video i want to take you guys through the process of actually doing it without using the wrong side of the fabric so here's the wrong side let me mark it again here's the wrong side so in order to do that the first thing we are going to do is this is the actual right of the fabric this is the stretch so we're going to call this in bias right we're going to cut it slanted so from this side i'm just going to cut my first slant so from here right now i'm just going to like mark this on this edge you can see that the way to the top so once i have the accurate measurements it's like I'm 16. so here also i'm going to measure the wideness i'm just going to take two inches at this place and if you can see me two inches i'm going to measure two inches also here i'm going to measure two inches at this place as well i'm just going to connect it together See that fabric fit so once I have this let me just cut it out as you can see you can see that I'm cutting from the right side I'm going to cut it out See that? Let me trim all this. So once I have this right now, you can see this exactly how I cut it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this wrong side. This is the wrong side, so we don't make that mistake. That's the wrong side of the fabric. So now, in order to cut out this other shape right here, in order to cut out the one, if you cut it the same way like this, you can see. The line is still going to fall exactly the same route, right? Still going to fall. So, so in order to get this, the next thing is basically to simply place this. You can see this is the right side and this is the wrong side, right? Just place your wrong side like this. So if you place the wrong side like this, you can see that this line is straight, right? You have to make sure this line is as straight with each other as possible. You can see. Make sure those lines are together, just like that. You see what I have? But in order to confirm that this is actually right, if I turn this this way, you can see that this shape is giving us like this and like this. So depending on how curved you want it to be, I want this V to be very, very close. You can see I'm having it. One is going like this, while this line is coming like this. If you look at this center part, you can see that it's giving us that shape. So now depending on how close you want the shape to be, that's what we determine how close you're going to like go like this. So if I go like this, you see what I have here? You see how the shape, the shape I'm giving here? So if I stitch this together, I'm going to get exactly that shape. So all I'm going to do here is basically simple. I want it to be like this. I want the V to go up like this. So you see that? So from here right now, I'm going to cut an excess of 1.5 inches backward. 1.5 inches backward like this. Because that's what I'll be folding, 1.5 here. 
1.5 here 1.5 here I'm going to connect that together Generation after generation to present you yet no one shams you up so from here I'm just going to cut it straight see that and here also it's going to cut it out so right now if I please let's just put this ones aside don't forget we have our wrong side so here also let me mark the wrong side just like this okay you can see that's the wrong side so if i place this like this and i place the wrong side also you can see what i'm having here you can see the shape coming like this like this like this like this so that's exactly how we want it to be so now we're going to the sewing machine and we're going to align those two shapes together to give us the v color give us the v design so what i have here see that so now all you have to do now is just simply place it together like this over one another so you're going to take your time you can see what i'm having here make sure both of those lines are exactly where it's supposed to be make sure you align them together exactly how it's supposed to be you can see and i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and simply sew it all the way down align it very 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 well it's very very important that you align it as much as you should to give you that line you can see that align it very well and get a straight shape so after stitching if you take a closer look at this this is what you're supposed to have just a straight line you can see this line coming here on this first placket you can see that it actually went straight all the way to this side you're going to do the same thing on all of these ones as well so if i open this you can see what i'm having here you can see that shape so all i have to do now is basically simple i'm going to simply iron this down then we're going to build our placket just simple as that i will take this to the ironing table now and all the other things we are doing now is on the ironing table so let's go to the ironing table so here now this is our interfacing this is the color state that i'm using and i already call this exact size that i want this is one one quarter of an inch you can see that that's the wideness and the height i have here is 15.5 inches you see that so now on the plaquettes on our stripe that we cut i'm going to trim out this ss side of it I'm just going to trim out that side see that if you have any excess on your own just trim it out likewise you see that so once i'm done i'm just going to simply open it up and iron the inside iron down the inside open it up and press it down you can see open that side up and simply press it down press it all the way down make sure it's as flat as possible just like this you can press it down so you see that so once i'm done with the ironing all i'm going to do is now to align my plaquette to align my interfacing so in order to get that i'm going to simply make an arrow at the edge based on the design what that we're working with if you want it straight just leave it straight but here we're making an arrow at the edge so once we have that arrow at the edge the next thing is to align where the arrow is going to be i want it to be pointy exactly the same way the arrow on the stripe is going to be you see that so once i have that i'm going to simply align it at the center just at the center of our stitch you see that so i'm going to fold this interfacing into two all the way down so you can have a center point in both sides so first i'm going to fold the plaquette the um the interfacing i'm going to fold it together just this particular one i'm going to fold it together like this so i'm going to have a straight line in between that's going to align to the center of the um of the fabric you see that that's going to 
at the center of that you see that so once i have that i'm going to simply cut my hemming gum into two so i'm going to place it inside of the fabric and i'm going to place the interfacing on top of it. so you can see that just make sure you align i'm going to cut the uh, hemming gum or place it like this place it under it and i'm going to align it down see that i'm going to align all of the sides place it simply gum it down do you see what i have so if i lift this side up i'm going to do the same thing on the second side as well and it's down so you see what i have here this is exactly what you're supposed to have so now here i'm just going to iron this piece just like i'm making a normal plaquette this is exactly how we make a plaquette just in case you haven't seen a video i've made a several video on how to make a pla plaquette actually so just follow along with this you can see what i'm doing just fold the first side iron it down you can see iron it down you see that so just fold it down you see what i have on the side you see that i'm going to do the same thing on this one as well you see that and it's down make sure it's flat so i'm going to open it back and i'm going to put an emmy gum in between that part so at the edge where our arrow is, I'm going to simply trim that part out, fold it, iron it. You can see I'm going to trim out a little bit from there, fold it back, and simply run an ironing like that. So once I have that, I'm going to do the same thing at this place. Here I'm going to cut out my neck opening, which is 7.5. I'm going to cut out the excess at the down part also. See that? So at this place, I'm going to cut my aiming gum into two. Here, I'm going to simply fold the arrow on the edge of the plaquette. Make sure it is flattened very, very well. See that? And also on the plaquette, I'm going to fold the side. Just like this. So at the top, I'm going to open that place, fold the cover. I'm going to all the way to the edge. You see that? Just like this. Likewise here, I'm going to fold this inside. Put it above the plaquette, iron it down, and simply push it under the plaquette and iron it down. As simple as that. So that's how to make a plaquette. And this is going to be our final. So after this is what we're going to have, you see what I have here. But even if you're going to realize that this is what I have, and you can see that I have an issue. as much as I want to not aligning at that place. So if you follow the same process, you're going to get it right. So just take your time to make sure this line is aligned in the first position. And it's aligned. So that's about it in this video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So that's about it for making this design. If you love the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.